What's up, my people? It ain't no music. It ain't none of that shit right now. Like, what's up, y'all? I know y'all all driving right now. Some some people are driving. Some people are traveling. Some people are just getting in at this spot. What's up, y'all? Those that don't have my Instagram, Yizzo, I love y'all. Sending y'all love, light, and supreme cosmic energy. Sending y'all all love, light, and supreme cosmic energy. What's the deal, yo? What's the deal? What's up, yo? Well, I just want to say real quick, you know, like that gathering yesterday, that, I mean, that gathering for Friday and Saturday, man, that shit was, it was nothing like I ever, you know what I mean? Let me say, I don't want to say expect it. Let me tell you something. When people say, you know, some people ask me, Kala, why you be going in so hard? So it's one thing to go hard when you behind, when you inside a secure, when you inside your fucking home on a laptop or on social media and you talking shit about the lizard family, you know what I'm saying, that queen and them, you talk about their all their connections, you know what I mean, and their, and their destruction of humanity. You know what I mean? It's one thing to get on that, that, that screen there. But then when you out in your neighborhood or your communities and your walks, wherever you at in life, and you talking that same shit, you dropping that same, you, you dropping a crop circle for your peoples and you dropping UV dreadful on an artificial race. Feel that. I'm dropping a crop circle. So when you out there, right, each and every last one of us can make crop circles. You understand? Understand that. So when you out there and you walk and you in a store, I don't go fuck with you, what store you may be at. Save a lot, Dollar Tree, whatever the case may be. And you get that urge. The urge don't come over you all the time because the universe will let you know. The urge will come over you all of a sudden and it just be like, yo, speak out. You will hear somebody speak about voting or something and then something to tell you, speak out. Or then you will, or you will walk in an environment and, and then... Your, your whole, the soul, the universe say, don't say a motherfucking word. <laughs> you'll walk, you'll walk in a room full of your motherfucking people. And, a, you, and they'll talk about the, they'll talk about voting. They'll talk about motherfucking sports. They'll talk about uh, getting money the whole nine. And the universe will say, don't you say a motherfucking word. Don't you mention shit. But then you'll walk in a room with other people and they might mention voting, talking about some money or something or a bill. And then you start and the universe say, yo, say something. And then you you hesitate, don't say nothing. And the universe saying, say something, say something. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden you start motherfucking talking. But don't trust your inner self, my people. Trust your inner self, man. Like this, this that's all I can say is trust. Just like I trust I trust my inner self when it came to me putting this, putting this shit together or even ask saying, you know, let's do this. You have to, everyone that came to my house from a small vessel, meaning that the little baby star seeds was here to the, to the, to the adult vessels. Every last one of them was healers, was healers. Listen. You, we go to fam. We have we go to our own family gatherings. We 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 won't even, we 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 conscious about what the fuck we bring in there. Don't put this in your pocketbook. And then, oh, you know what? I ain't bringing my pocketbook in there. I'm gonna stick all my money in my brother. I'm gonna stick my money in my wallet or in my pocket or I'm gonna stick my money in my bra. <laughs> we we around fucking our own family. Come out the same tree. Come off the same motherfucking tree. And we, we got to feel like that when we around having gatherings around our own fucking family. Let me tell you something. Everyone that walked in that door, and I ain't got to speak for them, but everyone that walked in that door, they set their shit down around here. Motherfuckers was like, damn, I, I set my cell phone down. I don't know where it went through the house looking for it. Oh, I knew I was in the bathroom and I left it here. Or I was over here, in the, sitting over here in this room and I left it here. Shit me on the charger, plugged up. Nobody, people running in and out of the door. Nobody took nothing from no one. Nothing, nothing, not nothing was taken. And that's that. Like, like, tell me what kind. Like, like that's us. So when people 
they give you this stereotype on TV or how we are and how we treat one another. Stop looking at Tyler Perry, man. Stop looking at this motherfucker, man. He don't care nothing about us, man. Stop looking at him. They program us with these TVs and all these TV program, these shows and all that shit. You understand? But I felt within my soul that this shit was going to go wonderful. Every every person that was here, everyone that was here made sure the next person was okay. Everybody, I, I'm walking around, you good? You good? Yo, what's up? What's up? You good? You good? Everybody else like, yeah, man, we good. Everybody walking around to each other. You good? You good? You good? Listen, let me tell you something. My sister, Don, yo, Donna, yo, I love this sister. You have no idea. I love this sister. Sister Linda, like, and if I, and I don't mention any other sister name, please don't, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, just off the back, that sister came in here and she was like, we all talking, we all, get, let me, let me, let me, let's put some food together. They started cooking and then not only that, that energy rubbed off on the other sisters, made them stand the fuck up and said, you know what, let's start putting some shit together. They was changing shifts over there in the motherfucking kitchen. And guess what the brothers started doing? Let me help y'all out. Get the dishes. Get the trash out the way. Start putting the shit in the trash. Let me get the dish. Let me. Everybody was helping each other, man. Yo, you all the shit that would you you would think my house would be fucking f- trash every fucking where. You would think. Look, look, my people. Hold on. You would think all of y'all seen the video. You would think fucking trash and food would be every fucking where. No, none of that shit. Nobody. Everybody was together. Everybody was one, man. Like everybody, I can't. I just can't. I just can't. Like I can't believe it. This is why I tell people that they ask individuals like, "Why you you believe in your people so hard?" Like Kalai, you gotta let let them go because some of them, everybody ain't gonna make it. But I can't. I can't look at that. I want everybody to make it. I want every fucking body to make it. That's how I gotta look at. I have. I understand that everybody's not gonna make it. But am I supposed to sit back and be okay with that? Because if I sit back and be okay with, every, I know that everybody ain't gonna make it. Then why did I? Why did the universe choose me to be a beacon of light for my people at this point, this point in time? She didn't choose me to be aware of the situation and keep the information to my motherfucking self. That wasn't a choice by a woman. A woman don't choose you to do that. A woman choose you to build. See, that's why we got relationships fucked up. We got thinking. We got the man thinking a man is going to choose. Not right now, cabbage. We think we got this shit all fucked up thinking that the man is the one that's supposed to choose. Nah. Woman choose. She only gonna choose a motherfucker that's willing to build. The problem is is that you choose a motherfucker that just wanna fuck. And that's just real shit. If I was a motherfucker woman, I'd be like, nigga, you can get this for JJ all the fuck you want, nigga, but we making babies. Now what the fuck is going on? And you taking care of them. What the fuck is wrong with you? And you teaching them. Point blank and simple. You ain't willing to do all that, then get the fuck out of here, nigga. Point blank and simple. See what I'm saying? We on some other, we on some dumb ass shit. We on some just satisfy the body. And then when up, then when she pop up pregnant, oh man, I, sh- I really ain't want this baby. I really ain't, sh- I can't believe this. A lot of y'all walk around with your own fucking children. And this is why y'all children don't even fucking like you because you really didn't want the child. You just took care of them because that was the, 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 the fucking law told you to do that shit. You understand? That's just being real. Come on. We ain't gonna we gonna sit here and act like we're gonna lie to each other now. Cause I ain't never this is why people gravitate to me. Ain't nobody gravitating me to me that's wanna hold on to motherfucking lies. We gonna be real, we're gonna be factual and straight the fuck up, man. Come on. A lot of us didn't even want our fucking children, man. We was fucking. Oh shit, got pregnant. That's why the nigga ain't never around. Making making money is an excuse why you can't have a conversation with your motherfucking child. What's wrong with you? You can't make jokes with your child? I laugh. Me and my daughter get around each other. I'm fucking laughing and joking. Even my son, when we was, man, we was close. But like, we were fucking, I be, we be fucking laughing and fucking joking and making jokes, man. Nobody was on, nobody. Cabbage, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Seriously, Cabbage, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we make, I mean, we get jokes. In love with each other, man. We not in no... We not... Shouldn't be like how we are, man. This is why it's such a fucking disconnect, man. It's such a fucking disconnect, my people. But, I mean, it, that, 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 that gathering was so beautiful, man. It was so fucking beautiful. 
disconnect because your children that you're walking around out here with that's on them fucking bikes that's doing wheelies and walking in front of traffic and then following the artificial race that's busting in these fucking stores, the artificial race busting in the stores and our children going in there taking materialistic shit. The same children that you didn't want. Same, but you wanted to be in that fucking bar that night getting them drinks up in you, getting getting that wine and spirit up in you, then you get a motherfucking baby, then, like, come on. And then you be with these dumbass relationships, man. I'm so sick of these invisible-ass men that these, these sisters so happen, so, happen, so happen to have. I'm tired of this shit. Every time I see you, you with, just, you with your girlfriend. Only time this nigga come through is 11 or 12 o'clock at night. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's not a relationship. It's not a fucking relationship. Only time this nigga come through is when he wants to smack. Y'all don't even laugh together. What the fuck is going on? I ain't spend no time together. And I'm not, listen, man, look, real people talk about real shit. We not going to sugarcoat this shit in our community. We can't blame other people for our own fucking actions. This is what I've been talking about the whole time. I ain't focused on God, Satan, COVID-19. I ain't focused on none of that shit. I'm focused on us, man. I'm focused on us. That's why I said, man, like people like, yo, I believe, listen, I, I, I don't, I fucking know. I don't believe. I fucking know. That no matter how much darkness on this planet, it's still love here. It's still motherfucking genuine love here on this motherfucking planet. And love is not what these motherfuckers have taught you. Love is telling the person the truth. No matter how much it may hurt them or not. Tell them the fucking truth. Point blank and simple. You don't sit around nobody because they are with being dead. The fuck is going on? You can't dumb yourself down or belittle yourself. Because this person is, is afraid to, to, to understand that a man created a calendar. This is how you got your birth date. That is not your age. What the fuck? You can't comprehend that? And you're mad because I bring that up? What the fuck? That's small shit, bro. That's small shit. So I just say, man, like it was like people was crying. People was crying at that, that energy circle. They was all healers. Every last one of them was there was healed. People were literally tears in my, in my eyes. Like people woke up the day and that wasn't that they knew that they wasn't gonna be right here. They was going back to where they was at. Was crying, literally tears of emotion. I told you I'm gonna bring that shit the fuck out you. You not walking up in my motherfucking house and not not be at peace. You not coming up in here and be on some rah rah shit because I ain't got no rah rah environment. I don't give a fuck where you came from out there. When you walk the fuck up in here, I'ma sage you the fuck down. I'ma give you a big ass motherfucker hug, and we gonna go from there. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going We not. We not doing that no more. We not doing none of that shit no more. And that's just being realistic. We just being realistic, man. The brother and sister. The, listen, you know what made me even more like the brother and sister that came up here that was pregnant. You know what I mean, her sister like. She said, as soon as I walked in the door, my baby, she said, my baby don't never be moving when I'm home. She said, when I came in, my son was just jumping around all in the stomach. It was like the energy. I was like, yes. I'm like, that's what's up. <laughs> I mean, genuine. Just genuine shit, people. We don't know how to bring that emotion out of each other other than on some, on, other than on some European, Western culture, violent shit. Just being genuine. Just being genuine. What the hell? I'm sitting here looking at these black people, man. Look, so let me show you what our brothers do. I, I don't even want, matter of fact, I don't even want to show you. It's a waste of time. We we only do shit to to, to entertain them, man. We so we we so hard, we so tore up, man. But it was genuine, man. The little the, the sister came from Pittsburgh. Like I feel so bad, man. Like I don't even like she she left. I was upstairs, or I went to no, I went to the store to go grab some more food, but she had left. Man, her daughter, man, her children. She had a son and two daughters, but her daughter, like, she's four. The way she spoke to me when she opened her mouth, man, it was like, what? I was, I couldn't even believe she was four years old. I couldn't even believe it. And and all the children, you know, children knows motherfucker dark energy. Whether y'all believe this shit or not, children know dark energy. That's why you ever you ever see a baby you ever you ever have your child and one of your somebody talking about oh let me hold a baby and the baby start crying like no fuck that I don't want to hold they know something I don't give a fuck how many pies the person cooked how much image whatever image they put on for that for you 
the baby saying there's something not right with this individual right here that I don't like. No matter if you like it, it's something that I don't fucking like. So don't force me up into, up on this motherfucking arms, period. But the children in here, right? They were running and jumping on sisters. They didn't even know these sisters. I mean, they know, this is what I'm saying, they do know. But again, they didn't know, meant my people. They were just running and jumping on sisters, running up to brothers, high-fiving, like, oh, they laughing. I mean, it was such a magnificent thing. Guess what? The dumbass shit was going on out there. We didn't even know that shit was even going on. We didn't even know that shit was going on. It wasn't even going on. They, people tried to scare other people to tell them don't come up here. You see what's happening up in Philly? You see what's going on the fuck up in Philly? Tell what was going on up in Philly? Love energy was the fuck happening the fuck up in here. You was afraid. The number one thing that they had they, they have put installed inside of you will, will that will automatically not allow you to ascend. And I want y'all to understand this. No matter how much they kill us, no matter how much they beat us, no matter what, no matter what they teach us, try to teach you, the number one thing that was installed inside of us is fear. And that's the number one thing that will keep you from ascension. Keep you from ascension. See, you're not going to have, you don't have fear when you're talking to these motherfuckers. You're going to drop UV dreadful to the motherfucker, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the pond and to this, and to the lizards. And you're going to drop a crop circle for your people. And, and most of your people going to look at you with a crazy look on their motherfucking face. But you talking to their soul. Watch they go home and no matter what, something may take place. If you ran your soul long enough, meaning your mouth. If you ran that motherfucker long enough, it's something. That's when, because they were intended. You don't even know. They were intended to hear what you stated. Something is going to take place that's going to be like, damn, they're going to fucking remember you. They're going to fucking remember you. Something's going to take place. Let me see if this my damn door on here, man. All right, hold on. Let me get this on here, man. I wasn't, people invited me. Oh, no, you know what? I can't do that. I can't do that because I want to load this video. I want to load this video up on YouTube, my people. So if I if somebody come in on this joint, I ain't going to be able to load it up on YouTube. See, I try to be, I don't write nothing down. This ain't rehearsed. Ain't none of that shit rehearsed. Fuck, we need to rehearse something before. When you rehearsing shit, you got to edit shit. You got to go back and forth with shit because you, 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 trying to, you trying to cast spells, nigga. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying it's, it ain't okay to put video, but I like if I got to edit shit all the time and I got, man, fuck all that shit. Let me bring it from the soul. Let me bring it from the motherfucking soul. That's where I'm at with it. But I want to thank everyone that came up here. When I say that, everyone that came up here to this, this was this was magnificent. We needed that. Y'all all are healers. Y'all all are healers. That's why we went through the, the most shit. And then look at what happened with the youth. We gravitated. We draw the youth in. The youth came up talking that shit. Talking that shit. The youth will no longer be, they won't be slaves. And the older generation that, that's willing to be slaves and content with being slaves, you can't relate to the youth. That's why you can't see what the fuck they saying. And then they mad at the youth on some egotistical shit. Oh, you think you smarter than everybody. Why well, I thought I'd be smarter than you. It's not. You, we don't understand that this is intellect. Intel. In your DNA. Intellect. You understand? All you have to do is have develop self-discipline and dig into your end motherfucking tail. That's it. So because the youth is no longer want to follow the same motherfucking path that led you down, led us down the same motherfucking path of the same violence, the same disconnect, destroyed fucking households. Y'all not tired of households being the fucking destroyed? You go in a household. The only time you can go in a fucking household and see children playing together is when they fucking infants. How many motherfucking children you see playing together at teenagers? They in separate motherfucking rooms. Separate shit. Huh? But three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old, they all motherfucking playing together. And then we get them hooked on these motherfucking cell phones and shit. Now they become, you ever see three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old, seven-year-olds play together? And then once you give them a cell phone, it's now he's no longer or she is no longer in tune with their environment. She's just in tune with the electronic device. That's displaying an environment that's playing an image in their head. That's destroying what they should naturally fucking be doing. Mainly with their other other children, other starseeds, being creative with their fucking minds. 
But we hand him the cell phone. I went to his cell phone. Motherfucker, you, are, you almost snapped out. I was like, you ain't getting a motherfucking cell phone. Fuck that shit. We have to change that shit around. That's how angry I, I, I won't be. It's not anger. It's just passion. Like, fuck that. You got to look, man. Fuck that. No more cell phone today. You're going be, to benefit from this shit in the future. No more of that shit. That's all I'm saying, people. And when we were in here, that's what I'll tell you. People's cell phones was the fuck down. Everybody was, it was no, man, it was, I didn't have to say, yo, no electronics. I ain't had to say no electronics here. I ain't had to say none of that shit. It naturally flowed, naturally flowed. That's why when people be like, yo, what we going to do when we get there? We're energy. We have, we, 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 we have beautiful hearts. We're going to put that shit together. We going if we, we really genuinely came here, we really genuinely got together to be with one another and make sure that we are okay, we genuinely got together for that, guess what? We going to be okay. We ain't eat no food. We ain't no fast food. Okay. All right. I know how to put this together. I know. The one sister automatically right from the gate, the first night she got here, she like, listen, get some, get some vegetables, get some onions and get some rice. We going to put that shit together. We can eat that right now. Everybody go ahead and chill. I'm going to go ahead and put that together. The first fucking day. It was everybody with, and you know what? Let me tell you something. Let's just let me just tell y'all something. None of these sisters was dressing. No sister was dressing explicit. No sister was dressing where though it was about none of that shit. And every brother that was in here wouldn't allow nothing to happen to none of them sisters. None of them. Not one of them. From the from the young brother that was sixteen. All the way up. Not one of them. They felt the love from these queens in here. From the gate. These sisters ain't say, yo, look at my chest. Look at it. They say, look, taste this. <laughs> taste this. <laughs> he was like, oh shit, that shit tastes good. She was like, oh shit, that tastes good. Oh shit, that shit tastes good. Now let her would have been crying and said, this motherfucker outside, this artificial race bastard outside is harassing me. Huh? Motherfucker with a hauled ass out there. All that nutrition in his motherfucking body. No animal food. None of that shit. Fruits, vegetables, good collard greens and, and seasoning. Shit, he would have hauled the fuck. We would have hauled ass out there. We would have been like <laughs> a swarm of motherfucking bees on a hornet. I'm telling you. Some brothers was outside talking and shit for a minute. They came, as soon as the door opened up, they was like, oh shit, it smelled good in here. <laughs> Yo, I love y'all, man. That, that shit was so beautiful, man. People was waking up crying today. I felt your energy. Same here. Clyde tears in his eyes at work. Fucking the guy worked with me. What you, what's wrong? Why your eyes all red and shit? I'm like, man, listen. You would never understand it, man. <laughs> you would never understand it. You would never fucking understand it. But, um, yeah, I wanted to load this video up on YouTube, too. This Because that's why I'm not going to... Um, that's why I'm not going to take any uh, live calls, my people. That's why I'm not going to do screen share because I can't load it up on um, YouTube if I do that. I love y'all, man. I sincerely do. Now, a lot of people was... Listen, let me tell you how real this shit was. People going to say... The, people going to say, Kala, when are we going to do the next event? And so, so somebody going to say, shit, let's do that shit tomorrow. <laughs> they was like, listen, we can do that shit tomorrow. That's... Nobody, nobody wanted to go home. It wasn't, nobody wanted to go home. And I didn't want them to go home. Nobody wanted to go home, man. Everybody was on some real chill, like, if I ain't had no obligations and work obligations and bills, like, we would be just vibing right here. That's real shit, my people. I love y'all. I sincerely do. Everyone that came up here, I hope that you made it home safe, safely. I know that you did. The universe got you. I ain't even worried about that shit. For real, for real. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for sharing your light with me. I sincerely, I sincerely thank you. I can't, I can't, like, I can't really stress that enough. Thank you for sharing your light with me. I really appreciate that. This was really special. This was needed for what's getting ready to take place for us. Every last individual that came here. This was needed for us because when we go back to where we're at, we're going to be responsible for our, a lot of people, a lot of people. So this was probably our time to let go um, 
of uh, all of the old energy and welcome in a new energy because our people are going to need us. Our people are going to really need us. So those that came here, you know what I mean, like that have an understanding of what's taking place and what's going on, our people is going to need us. This was a healing. This was a healing um, rebirth. That I look, that's how I look at it. This was a healing and a rebirth. We healed all that old energy that we that led us up to this point right here. And it was a rebirth. When we went out there that night, formed that circle, and gave up that good energy, and said, destroy that fucking moon. The sister, man, the sister, the sister Mina, listen, she took her shoes off, right? She's she started getting hot by people. Yo, listen, oh, y'all gotta watch the video. Riz got the shit on his line. I don't know if he recorded that part right. See, if now people ask me why I didn't go live, because it wasn't meant to be on these devices. I just couldn't pick them up. I, I wasn't meant this. I wasn't this wasn't meant to be on those devices. We went live right here. It was meant to be, it was meant to be recorded right here. You know what I'm saying? So those that wasn't there, I do apologize. But Riz has some of it on his channel. The sister took her sheet. Listen, as soon as she grabbed the water jug to go over to the bowl, she started getting hot. Cause it's it was cold out there. We all took our shoes off. Our feet was in the dirt. Shit was cold. You know what I mean? It was cold, but we all was getting warm. It was, we was all locked arm to arm. Man, we was we was spinning a circle in the sage. The sage was going around in a circle, and people took turns. You know. You know, and talking. Listen, when the sister got up there, right? As soon as she got there, she now mind you, she had a, she had on a fucking, uh, uh, um, she had on a dress, a long dress, but she had a jacket on over it, and then she had on. I gave her a blanket. I gave her a fucking one of my blankets. I gave her a blanket too. Listen, when she got there, the moment that she got that fucking jug. She took the blanket off, her jacket off. She took everything. She was so fucking hot. She was crying. She was letting that shit the fuck out. Yo, this shit was so fucking amazing. Just to recap all that shit, cuz she was wet. Tears was out her eyes. You could see steam coming off the fucking woman, cuz. <laughs> we was at night. She got so hot and she was letting that shit out, man. Like all the shit that she been through that led her up to this point. And tears, and she was like, "Ah, Shay!" And she was screaming, and everybody was just like, "Yo, she was." You seen steam coming off this motherfucking queen? Steam. I'm saying, I was like, "Oh shit!" I mean, it was it. That was man. It was beautiful. Then the young brother that got up there, the 16 year old, he was dropping that shit. Man, they won't. It won't be no slaves, brother, or sisters. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, and I mean by mental slaves. It won't be none of them no more. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. This shit is over. The youth, the youth is, the. when I say youth, I mean the vessel. Because they ancient souls. They have returned. When we talk about the, the gods, the guardians of this planet, they have returned. They walking right amongst you. You giving birth to them. <laughs> you, but we, we don't understand that. You putting them in front of the fucking TVs, the laptops. This is why they fucking looking for your children. This is why they looking to vaccinate your fucking children. Huh? Huh? You looking at the gods. They have returned. You giving birth to them. I love you, my people. I sincerely do. Again, thank everyone that came up here. Um, it was a magical moment. It was a beautiful love, light, and healing energy moment. And like I said, I know that all everyone that came up here, we are healers. You are healers. You know what I mean? And this was setting you up for the responsibility that you're going to have back in your community, back in your area. I love y'all, my people. Have a great rest of your evening.